How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, being that it's a new year, we can expect a bunch of new technology products being released in 2019. I mean, we already have CES 2019 in a few days. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going because it's quite far and quite pricey, but we can expect some really cool and new technology being showcased there. So in this video, I wanna go over the tech that I want to see be released in 2019, or at least make some progress, because tech sometimes takes really long. So hopefully we can see something at least. So, but now before we get into that, I kinda need to just take care of this mess because yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a, a monster at the moment. So let's just quickly go to the barber, get a haircut so I don't look like a hobo anymore. Let's get into that. And we are back. So short hair, doesn't really look the best. The, the barber didn't really do a great job, but it's short and luckily hair grows out. So yeah, still have my cap on though because I do love my cap. But now getting into my predictions or what, what I want to see uh, tech-wise in 2019. And starting off first with CPUs. Now, I'm not really gonna talk about Intel because I don't really care about Intel anymore. They've kind of dropped the ball too many times now. So AMD is the one to beat. So AMD with the Ryzen CPUs, they've done a awesome job beating out Intel, or not, not really beating out Intel, but just delivering really good CPUs, also especially for the price. So now finally we're gonna get the new Ryzen 2 or Ryzen 3000 series CPUs but on the seven nanometer process where Intel can't even get on the 10 nanometer process after how many years. So AMD on the seven nanometer process and from all of the leaked information, uh, if, the, if it's true, these CPUs are gonna be beasts. So if we take a look at some of the rumors, again, we will have to wait and see once it actually announced, which should be at Computex or CES 2019, again, only in a few days. But so far we have that the Ryzen 3s are gonna come out with six cores, 12 threads, and have a base clock of 3.2 gigahertz. And then we have the Ryzen 5s with eight cores, 16 threads, and a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz. Then Ryzen 7, we get a massive 12 cores and 24 threads with a base clock starting at 3.8 gigahertz. That all already is a crazy. I mean, currently I'm running a Thread Ripper 1920X in my system, 12 cores, and those CPUs might even beat out my Thread Ripper at the moment, so yeah. But that's not all. We also going to get the Ryzen 9 CPUs, which is going to have 16 cores and 32 threads and a base clock starting at 3.9 gigahertz. So just all of that sounds crazy. Hopefully it's true, we'll have to wait. But if that's true, then yeah, I'm really looking forward to AMD this year. But not only that, with their new GPUs as well. But first up, let's talk about NVIDIA with their new mid-tier lower budget RTX cards being released, the RTX 2060, but also the GTX 1160. So they're gonna make two variants of that card. And then I believe also they're gonna have like a six, uh, eight gig, a six gig and a four four gig or something like that. I believe there's going to be a massive amount of models. I also believe like a gigabyte is going to produce like a 40 variants of the uh, more affordable cars, which is crazy just between those two cars. So yeah, that's going to be quite cool to see. Hopefully their RTX cars can perform, uh, but also hopefully their GTX 1160 will also deliver a good performance because GTX 1060 already is a really good budget card. So we'll have to wait and see. We believe it's going to be announced at CES 2019 as well. But getting into AMD, now they're going to produce their new RX 3000 series GPUs. 
and they're also going to keep the same naming scheme as uh, nvidia now with the rx 3080 and 3060 and so on so it's going to be easier to understand but kind of gets in the way of uh, nvidia as well so i really do hope that amd's new graphics cards will actually deliver because they made so much money off of their entire cryptocurrency boom they sold millions and millions of graphics cards. So hopefully through that, they could have added a lot more R&D towards their GPU development. And now finally, we'll be able to get some really good competitors against NVIDIA's cards. So those two are more of the hardware components. Now, in 2019, I really want to see more wireless peripherals. Now, we already have more and more wireless gaming mice com coming out, uh, especially from Logitech delivering really good gaming mice. We also have Razer now, and then also uh, Corsair is also kind of getting into that. So hopefully we're gonna see more higher performing gaming mouse from some of the other competitors. So we'll be able to just not use cables anymore because cables are annoying. But not only that, I also want to see a more wireless, mechanical, but also RGB keyboards. We don't really have any of those. I mean, Corsair kind of did their K65 or K68, same keyless design, which was mechanical, but it was only a blue uh, backlit. So that was kind of a bit disappointing. I really want RGB, even though battery life is going to be horrible, just to have that, it just makes it better. Then moving on to monitors. In 2019, I want to see more high refresh rate monitors in laptops. So we already have the 144 hertz displays in some of the higher end gaming laptops. But I think if we have more like just a hundred hertz displays in more of the medium uh, range gaming gaming laptops, I think that'll be really cool. It's not that much higher, but it will help just make your gaming just feel more smoother and just enhance your gaming experience. Uh, along with that, I also want to see a ultra wide that has a with a resolution of 1440p but has a refresh rate higher than 100 hertz currently that's kind of all we have so 34 inches 1440p ultra wide only at 100 hertz in 2019 i want to see that go up to 144 hertz because so currently i am actually looking for a new monitor want to get an ultra wide want to get a 34 inch but I'm not gonna go for a 1080p. That's kind of useless nowadays and for that size. So I wanna see all of that, but at 144 Hertz. That is something that I really want to see and also then get for myself. Then next up, we have VR and AR. In 2019, I really wanna see more of that, more going on there. Currently, it's just too expensive for more of the mainstream consumers. I mean, I think it's like $400 or $300 for an Oculus Rift. That is crazy expensive for a device like that. And then you still need a beefy uh, computer as well to handle that. So first up, we will kind of have to see the prices I'll drop it down a bit. Even though it's not the highest version of the uh, like a VR headset, if they can just lower the prices on a more mainstream versions, that'll be really cool. Still higher prices for the like extremely uh, ex uh, extreme ones. That's going to be fine, but I want to see a lower prices. And also in AR department, I want to see something happen there. Hopefully we can see something really cool because I know Microsoft just got a really high deal with the US military. I think around $400 million for developing more stuff. So hopefully we can kind of see some of that development come more to the mainstream or to us consumers and then possibly get some really cool AR headsets out of that. Might not be in 2019, might not even be in 2020, but hopefully we can get something like that sooner than hopefully in our lifetime. And then finally, this is something that I've wanted to see forever, kind of. And that is to have a desktop equivalent Android OS. Now, I know we currently have the Chrome OS, but that is really, really limited. So I'm not really going to even classify that as an Android OS. So if we can get an Android OS to take on Microsoft with their horrible updates, just deleting data, ruining everything, then that will be really cool. 
and especially to get that in more of the budget friendly laptops, that'll be awesome because Android, even though it is RAM intensive, we could potentially see that on more of the entry level laptops and for that also lower the prices on some of the system. Think that will be cool and just be able to sync everything together again with your mobile phones, your fridges, your TVs, all of that, because kind of a lot of stuff or is Android nowadays. Sync all of that together would be really cool. Kind of like the Mac or the Apple uh, cult is at the moment. We can get something like that. But that is pretty much it for what I want to see in a 2019 tech wise. So hopefully we can get some of this in 2019 and not have to wait like five years before we can get something. But yeah, that is pretty much it for what I want to uh, get in 2019. I want to hear from you guys. What do you want to see in 2019? You want to see a more hardware side? You want to see cars, cell phones, whatever. What do you guys want to see? Let me know down in the comments below. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys. And I'll check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.